Okay, good morning and welcome to Ian on Mishnah. Today we're going to dissect Masechah Shumos, Perek Zion, Mishnah Hay. Um, there's two scenarios over here, and they're significant to know the difference between the two. First scenario, you have two boxes. One has Truma, one has Kalani. You know which one has the Trula and wine. We're going to talk about wine because it's more relatable to people than grain. I mean, people don't deal with wheat, wheat stalks. But talking about two bottles of wine, right? One bottle is a Truma bottle of wine, one is a Kulin bottle of wine. You separate it to get the Kohen, or, or the Kohen you ever gave it to the Kohen, so now it's in your position, possession. And then, Truma, Truma wine falls into one of the bottles. You don't know which one fell into, did it fall into the Truma bottle, right? You know one had Truma, but you don't but you don't know anymore, you don't know which one it fell into. Hariani Omer Latosha Truma Nafba. You could be Tola, the Mishnah says, and assume it fell into the Truma, which is very good for you. Because now the truma fell into the truma. So you give that to the kohen. You're get, already giving it to the kohen. And the chulin remains cool and you can keep it. Because if the truma would have fell into the chulin, it would have made it demo. We're talking about where there's less than 1 to 100 ratio. So therefore, it's not going to be the maya. You can, you're the Yisrael. You can keep it. You can eat it. You don't have to worry that it's truma. So that's the halacha. Now why is this the halacha? Right? It's a suffix del raisa. Some, some farshim say we're talking about zeraban and zeraban lakula. But you can even say it's del raisa. How is it Shumad al Raisa? How can you be told? It's Abu Raisa al Khumra. No, the idea is is that it's a Motsi Mikhaver al Raya. The Truma, you know, primarily is Dine Mammon is over here. It belongs to the Kohen. It's Mammon Kohen. It is Usr for you. But the Isr really stems from the Mammon, the fact that it belongs to the Kohen. The Torah didn't want you to take from the Mammon of the Kohen. So it's his money. So therefore, Hamotsi Mikhaver al Raya, right? It's not talking, you didn't, you didn't give the Truma to the Kohen yet. So. Or even if you did give it to him, it's your possession now. So therefore, he wants to be mostly from you. He wants to take it out of your possession. He needs to bring a raya. So therefore, it's eighty percent to twenty percent, right? He needs to bring an eighty percent proof. So therefore, like we mentioned before, that um, you know when there's random, when there's randomness, we go with Mur- Murphy's law. But here, you know, one is truma and one is chulin. You just don't know which one it fell into. So therefore, we're told that we say it's truma because when you have definitive statistics over here, one you know which one. So. One is true, one is cool. You assume it fell into the truma because he has to bring a proof. 80% in one direction isn't a good enough proof. We're not going to lose your 80% proof. The second case is a little different, where you don't know which one is true. You know one is true, one is cool. But you don't know which one is the true, which one is the whole. And you're mixed up. So, And then the truma falls into one of them. So, again, the mission says, if you go and eat from one of these things, you're putter. But it doesn't say definitively, Hari any Omer. Like the, the ratio of the mission said, Hari any Omer. I say... This it felt the truma fell into the truma definitively with a proof, eighty percent proof. Because I'm mostly all right. He has to bring a proof. It's in your possession. It's, it belongs to you technically. Uh, <clears throat> the second case, you don't know which is truma or chulin. So therefore, we're dealing with randomness over here. Once we're dealing with randomness over here, so therefore, you don't know which one is truma. You don't know which is chulin. So therefore, you're right. Hamotzi mechaber all right. He has to bring a proof. He has to take it out from your possession. But <clears throat> here we're talking about. Um, uh, you eat it, you ate one of these, you drank from one of these bottles of wine, so you're putter, you're putter from paying back the Kohen. We don't want to see to pay back the Kohen. Um, it doesn't really say mostly um, it could be that the Kohen really has a right to take one from you. That Mish doesn't talk about it, it only talks about if you ate, if you drank from one of them. It says you're putter, you're putter from paying back the Kohen because. Uh, normally, if you eat the truma of a kohen b'shogi, you have to pay him a karen. And the chomesh over here, here your potter, not b'torah's vada, I like to say b'torah's suffolk over here, because it's a suffolk, we don't know which one is the truma, which one is the chul, so there's randomness over here. And when there's randomness, you go with Murphy's Law. And when you go with Murphy's Law, so therefore, you're you're going in the wrong direction. But at the same time over here, um, it's still in your possession. So therefore, there is a motzi mechavel raya. He has to bring a proof to the, the kohen. He does have to bring a proof. Uh, but it's random. It's a random. So therefore, instead of being 80%, 20% in your favor, I would say it's like between 65 and 70% in your favor, which is suffix, right? Which is a suffix, which is a, a D, doubt, D stands for doubt. 65 to 75 is a grade, is a D in school. So it's a D, it's doubt. Uh, it's a suffix over here. So therefore, me suffix, we can't make you pay. But when you say patr over here, there's a chilak in, in the Gemara, we'll learn about Dine Shamayim. There's there's a chiyu ben adam lechaveru. Your potter, midine adam, midine shemayim, right? To be yotze, talk about lifnim yishros adin and things like that. That even though technically I don't owe the guy the money, but there's a mitzvah on me to be yotze de shemayim. Hashem's angry about something over here. So therefore it says potter, potter midine mamenis, midine mitzvah. You be chayiv to repay the kohen 
Are you just potter medine adam, not potter medine shamayim? You actually, I, I think is what the Mishnah means to say that because it's doubt over here, it's not conclusive over here. There's no proof. Eighty percent is proof. It's decisive in Allah. There's no decisiveness over here. We can't make you pay because it's in your possession. But medine shamayim, you'd have to pay, and I think that's why it says potter. It doesn't say we say we assume vada is truma. We don't assume it's vada is truma. It might not be truma, and you have to pay. And there's fakeless over here, so therefore there's no, you know, you have to be no a truma, and um, out of doubt, right? And therefore, um, you have to be knowing about truma, like the Mishnah says, Ashkia, know about truma, you have to be knowing about truma out of doubt. Um, so therefore, I'm part of the other and Chayyim Dinah Shemayim, that's what I have to say about this Mishnah. We'll talk more about this in Mishnah coming up soon. Bye.